welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Coon Valley. I'm Ken Manning, Western Wisconsin Video Productions. With me is Larry Service. Larry, uh, thanks for taking the time out here. We get a chance to talk a little bit about Coon Valley today. Yeah, so what's going on is, is we're getting together, we're celebrating 175 years. Wow. And that's a long time. That is a real long time. <laughs> yeah, so we've got, we've got some really neat things that are going to happen over in the village. Uh, all on August 24th, uh, there's live music, there's breakfast early in the morning, there's a parade, there's all kinds of really cool things that, that are going on. There's a softball tournament, and then um, we're trying to put together, uh, we'd like to get as many tractors in Coon Valley, um, because Coon Valley started out as an agricultural community. Yeah. And... Uh, so we want to do that. We want to try to get 175 tractors for the parade, and then we're going to do a little tractor show and a tractor ride. So. Okay. Let's, uh, let's go back. You, you uh, rattled off a number of different things that oh, are going yeah. to be going on. So that means it's all going to be a, a, a very full, fun day. And let me ask this uh, real quickly. Is it all in one day this year? One day. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, so it's going to be a full day. Um, there's having live music down in the park, and then there's fireworks afterwards, and so there's a lot of things happening. There's something for everybody. Yeah. And we want you to come to Coon Valley and celebrate yeah. with us. Now, you mentioned something about a breakfast. Did I hear you say? Yep. They're going to have a, a pancake breakfast early in the morning, I think. I'm not sure of the times, but yeah. they, can, they can check that out on uh, Coon Valley 175th on Facebook, and uh, they can follow us there, and that'll... You know, give them the exact times and when they all the yeah. different events start. Yeah, that's you know I use Facebook. I never used to, but I, maybe I'm getting out of the times because now there's so many other things than Facebook. But uh, yeah, check out Coon Valley Facebook, uh, the 175th. That's a, a great way to uh, get some of that info. Well, the uh, so you're going to get that breakfast. You're going to get the pancakes because with a full day like this, you better get stoked up because you're gonna be uh, putting your track shoes on. That's exactly right. It's <laughs> gonna be a long day. The people that are, that are really spearheading this thing, they have worked so hard to get this to come together. And we are really, really fortunate. We have a beautiful area here and we just want people to come down and enjoy yeah. that day with yeah. us. You told me something kind of interesting prior to us uh, getting this all set up. Uh, in the past, You've had a Coon Valley celebration has been as many as four days. Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I can, well, I was quite little <laughs> at the, you know, <laughs> believe it or not, uh, at the 125th, you know, that was a three, four day long deal. The 150th was a, was a long celebration. Yeah. And this time at the 175th, they just decided to pack it all into one day. Yeah. And, uh, it's going to be a very, very busy day. Now, rumor has it that there's a potential of seeing somebody coming out of retirement for maybe an inning or two for softball, or is that just a rumor? That is just a rumor at this point. I was told that uh, I was not going to be able to play ball. Um, so, and if they did, they were going to have uh, our friends up at Vernon Memorial standing by. So, <laughs> Well, I would imagine you can still hit the ball. So. <laughs> Now, take a look at a couple of the other things. Uh, one that's really, really close to you is this uh, tractor parade that you cooked up. Tell us a little bit more about that. Yeah, so what we decided to do, and, you know, a long time ago when this started started out, I thought it would be really neat to, to do a tractor ride. Um, our business has been here a long, long time. We've always been involved in agricultural, and I said, what better way than to do a tractor ride and then a tractor show. Um, so it started out as kind of an idea just on paper and then I started mulling around and talking to people and everybody seemed to get kind of excited about it. So I was like, you know what, Let, let's go ahead and do it. So <laughs> we've, got only, we've got two categories. There's first and second, I actually got trophies made up. So uh, <laughs> it's the first and second on the prettiest tractors and first and second on the ugliest tractors. Oh, wow. And um, so then you, uh, the people walking through will be able to do the voting. Oh, okay. Yep. So um, yeah. I just think it'll be kind of fun. Um, I've talked to one guy, he's gonna bring an old oil pole. <laughs> um, 
You know, so if they don't want to go on the on the tractor ride afterwards, the tractor show will start right after the parade. Yeah. And I'll be there lining them up. Okay. So, okay. Uh, yeah, I, it's going to be a, a long day. It's going to it's going to be kind of interesting, and the fact that you have the the community, the fans, the the folks coming to the celebration, get a chance to vote on things, make them feel part of it, right? Oh, absolutely. You yeah. know, um, what is a pretty tractor to me <laughs> might not be so pretty to someone else. Sure, so, sure. And, and that way, I thought to myself, you know what? The people can vote just the way it is and you know so anybody can win yeah um, yep. you know so we're going to do some neat things for that and we're really looking forward to that we're hoping we get a beautiful day like today oh wouldn't that be fantastic yes. i tell you what we'll keep uh keep our fingers crossed on that one uh let's go back again the softball games uh, that'll start sometime uh late morning early afternoon probably I would uh, think I would think late morning. Uh, it is a softball tournament, so um, I'm not sure. There was rumors that it was a one pitch tournament. Oh gee, I haven't. <laughs> I've got my plate full with the tractors. <laughs> there um, you go. But um, I think they've got eight teams. Okay. So yeah. Uh, so there'll be ball in the park. Uh, there's just a lot of activities. You know, it just sounds like uh, like the the times of old, as they say, yeah. when you know get stuff like this uh, to get things rolling. But Larry, it's uh, it's going to be a blast. Uh, our intro was something. Now, is this tractor behind us? Is this going to be uh, entered into the into yep. the parade? Yep. Uh, uh, I kind of wondered that. Yep. This is uh, my grandfather sold this tractor new. Um, I'm the second owner of it oh, wow. and uh, it is original so <laughs> I use it all the time here on the farm and then uh, we picked up an old old farm wagon on wood yeah. um, and that's been that's been a lot of fun so um, yeah we'll have those two in the parade so I think that is just great to have something like that around and I remember something of that nature a long, long time ago. I can't, I can't tell you if it was on our farm or where it was. Maybe it was a neighbor's farm, but it was, when I saw that, it was just instant, yep. here we go with the memories and everything. Well, so. and we, we're all tied to agriculture yep. in, this, in, the, in our community here. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, our grandfather's farmed or our great uncle farmed or our uncles or we farmed ourselves. And that's why it's so important to me to do the tractors yeah. um, so this younger generation can see some of the equipment that we used to yeah. farm. Larry, I think uh, the fact that you're brainstorming this whole thing, you're kind of helping, uh, uh, I don't want to use the word ramrod because that's just a <laughs> little too much. But uh, your guidance and uh, the leadership in this is outstanding. Thank you so much for doing this because you got a business to run too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, um, yeah, and and we farm, you know, <laughs> yeah, so yeah. we're busy this time of year, and, yeah. um, you know, we're, we're really looking forward to spending a day as a community, and I think that's really important yeah. Um, yeah. to uh, to get together, to listen to some good music, to, to watch the parade, and just be community-minded. I'm very, very happy, and... Um, we're we're ecstatic. We're hoping that we get a beautiful sunny day yep. and um, no rain. Well, and you know, we'll put let's put in that order right away, folks. We'll get that uh, taken care of. Uh, stepping back here just for a moment, uh, it is uh, uh, August twenty fourth. Yes. I, in my head, I had something going on on the seventeenth, and I was a little worried that I wouldn't be able to come over here and maybe partake in some of this, but. August 24th, it's a Saturday, should be a lot of fun. And Larry, and Larry, where again can we look up all the information? Go to Coon Valley 175th and follow us on Facebook. All the times and different things will be there. Uh, the schedules should be coming on there very, very soon. All right. Any final thoughts for us, Larry? No, just pray for sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Well, uh, folks, we hope that you've enjoyed this uh, little infomercial is what we're calling it for the Coon Valley uh, Celebration 175th year of existence. Been a long, long time, and this uh, uh, little community just keeps on thriving. We hope to see you here on August 24th. So long, everyone. We'll see you down here in Coon Valley.